Welcome to the St Aloysius playing fields. It's the semi-final of the BSFL Junior Challenge Cup. Highgate thirds against London Wednesday. Highgate Albion have Jamie Roberts in goal. Anthony Sparks, Michael Yaboa the captain. John Sexton, Jamie King, Chris Varin, Scotty Carter, Sam Agre-Adams, Ben Julian, Dion Loughton and Javan wright Kezia. Their substitutes are Kay Whirl, Amir Suleiman, Alan Callahan, Joshua Stubley and Tommy Mpoko. Manager is Jamie Callagher. London Wednesday have Declan Scully in goal, Danny Burke, Bert Greenwood, Alex O'Mahony, Michael Dover, Jay Colston, Andrew Folan, Sam Cassidy, Jeffrey Querido, Tony Burke and Tom Mullard. Substitutes Chaz Bayford and Tom Wilson and their manager is Declan Scully. The BSFL Junior Challenge Cup is sponsored by One Stop MOT Centre. Almost three decades of automotive experience. Quote Barnet 20 for 20% off a full service. For more information, follow One Stop MOT Centre on Instagram. Anthony Brown's your referee. Harry Yanaris and Samuel Bernstein are the assistants. It's the yellow of London Wednesday. The visitors who are on the attack early on. That wasn't a bad effort, just wide of target. Headed away. Picked up again in the midfield, this time by Tony Burke. To the left-hand side. Sam Cassidy! Well, that wasn't very far away at all. You can tell by the reaction, it was very close. Over Dover. It's Cassidy. Picked up. The other end by Ben Juliet. Weaving his way into a bit of space is right Kezia. That's a foul on the edge of the penalty area. Trying to wriggle his way between two. It's an opportunity. Into the wall. It does its job. And in a second effort, goes wide. Comes the corner. Goalkeeper got hands to it. And it's turned back to a goal. Oh, it's goal. This time it beat the goalkeeper. It's hacked off the line. On the turn. It was Agri Adams. But again, the defence is there to do its duty. The time for the Highgate defender, Anthony Sparks, to win the header. Here he is again. Inside, looking to get forward. Went straight through to goalkeeper Declan Scully. So far, so even. One in the midfield by Highgate and by Jamie King. Tries to loft the ball over the goalkeeper. Declan Scully was wise to it. It's Bertie Greenwood. Long ball into that penalty area. It's nudged behind by Agri Adams for a corner. Andrew Folan's gone across to take it. Drills it in. It's a good delivery as well. It's not been cleared yet. Didn't quite come down for Tom Mullard. And suddenly there's a breakaway for Highgate Albion. Sparks. Side to Ben Julian. It's a decent looking ball forward as well. Right, Kezia twisting and turning. Got the cross in. Cleared away. And a long ball over the top. It's like a game of tennis at the moment from one end to the other. That's a good challenge coming in from John Sexton to keep Sam Cassidy away from goal. But then it's turned back across. Well, that could have gone anywhere. I think he got a hand to it, Jamie Roberts, the goalkeeper. Still, it's uh, London Wednesday on the attack. And it's gone behind for a goal kick. Long throw. Might still be nil-nil. But it's been very entertaining so far. That header from Dion Larton was just wide. Quite a way wide, in fact. Long goal kick. Midfield is not part of the equation at the moment. And the header back to the goalkeeper. Jamie Roberts can just calm things down. Long punt downfield. And it was backwards. And this is a chance. A little step over. The goalkeeper committed himself and left a large space. 
and Dion Loughton exposed it with the opening goal. It's advantage Highgate Albion. And it was route one, almost inevitably. A long punt downfield by Jamie Roberts. The defender misjudged it. And that left Dion Loughton through. Sidesteps the challenge. Not sure London Wednesday will be overly happy with the defending. The goal for Highgate Albion gives them the advantage through Loughton. What response from London Wednesday? Goal coming just nine minutes before half time. London Wednesday have had a great season. They're running away with the league. Only a single league game lost all season. They've only lost three games in all competitions. It's going to be a throw in. On that far side, Chris Varin to take. He's got it back again at his feet. He's got two closing in on him. Scooped wide by Scotty Carter and then cleared. Headed back again. And did he sparks? He's got the backup of his captain, Michael Yaboa. Highgate Albion have won four of their last five matches. They're fighting for promotion. They're only a point off second place, Barnet Salsa. And they do have a game in hand. Rolled down the line by Varin. That's a good ball as well. And suddenly, there's a real chance for Highgate Albion to perhaps make it 2-0. nil. little step over and it's hit the inside of the post. Javin Wright Kezia looks certain to score there. Great skills. And the finish wasn't bad either. The goalkeeper was beaten. London Wednesday saved by the woodwork. Rolled forward by Agri Adams. Wednesday win it back. And they're quick to manoeuvre it forward. Into the penalty area. Goalkeeper comes out and he does enough. Wednesday's defence has been key this season. They've only conceded 17 league goals. Their attack hasn't been bad either. 79 goals scored in league matches alone. Back to goal. Little flick to Burke. This is Dover on the right-hand side. He wasn't fed it in the end. And that's one that whistles just across the face of goal. Not without their chances in the first half, London Wednesday. London Wednesday's form's not bad. Three wins and one draw from their last five. Cut out brilliantly by Yaboa. It's been a really entertaining cup tight. Constant with some strong defending. Building up from the back. O'Mahony and Greenwood. As the half-time whistle sounds. Just the one goal. Plenty of entertainment. Dion Loughton with the only goal of the first half to give the home side the slender lead. Boys, one thing I'd say though, yeah, like I said at the start of the game, we take too many touches and we lose it, we're going to give them chances. I told you, they're a very good counter-attack inside as well. They're quick. They, 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 they want to press that ball and win it and go straight away. They're so direct, boys, and we're giving them the chance to do that. Let's just keep the ball, pop it about, move it. When we do that, boys, they can't get anywhere fucking near us. But we're not doing it enough. We have to do it more, boys. Come on, man. We've got to talk to each other as well. Pass and move. Give it. Go. Just do the simple stuff, boys. We're overcomplicating it sometimes. Especially in our, half. in our half, we need yeah. less touches, man. Yeah. Way less touches. Let me, let me tell you one thing as well that I've realised. We don't do most things, but we're doing this week. We're winning the first ball. Once you've won the first ball, then make it count. Because yeah. usually we have to chase the second ball and then we're trying to make it count. Today we're on the front foot for everything. But then we need to punish. We need to do more with, with the ball. We're, we're good off the ball today, we, do, we need to do more with the ball. We've let three decent chances go against us and they haven't scored any thanks to a great save by the keeper and two that they put over the bar. But boys, their goalie is not a goalkeeper and they're having more shots than us. Something's got to give. Something has to give. We've got three in the back, which, <laughs> looking at it, it, someone needs to step out because the 11 for them is a very good player. We know that. So someone's got to just occupy him. Pressure, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah? Get on yeah. them. Get on the ball. Well, to be honest with you, boys, they're probably both them sort of centre backs and mine sort of right. I fancy my chances in the air against them. You know, not many chances I've got to find out they're playing guys small, as small as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest with you. Maybe pace though, I can't beat BS about it. Get on it. Home, get out of his feet. Get my feet, boys. I'm trying to hold it up. Like yeah, I said. number four, mate. He's yeah. fucking yeah. awful. Jeff, Tony, runners off him if you're playing him in feet. Faster than him as well. Get him behind. What's that tough? Boys, this is on there. This is on there. This is on there. This is on there. Yeah. Right. They're going to get them big boys on their team. We didn't get going from the start. This is on there. 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 This
what, what is it? 45 minutes last season. Everything. Yeah? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely yeah. everything. One yeah. cup, one final, 45 minutes of your fucking playing career now. You know yeah? you can do it. You, <laughs> you, either, do it. you think about it in your heads now. You either want it, you don't. If you don't, you might as well fuck off. Simple as that. Let's fucking do it. Cup tie that's still very much in the balance as Jeffrey Querido rolls the ball forward and out wide it goes from Andrew Folan stepping out from the back was O'Mahony Sparks with a clearance away and laid off by Stubbley but he's given the ball away and that's an excellent turn. Burke lofts the ball into that six-yard box, but it's away for a goal kick. Goal kick taken by the high Albion goalkeeper, Jamie Roberts. Hoisted back forward again, though. Trying to cause problems, Jeffrey Corrido. It's up in the air from Jay Colston. Falls nicely for right Kezia. Step inside for Ben Julian. He's tangled up. Good challenge from Jay Colston. That's the way forward for Loughton. And he's managed to squeeze it through to Ben Julian, who's got the better of Colston. And the cross is blocked. And they can't prevent it from going behind London Wednesday. They've conceded a corner. Into the box. Eluded everybody. On the far side is Loughton. Score of the only goal so far. Right, Kezia. It's clearing away now from Wednesday's point of view. They missed an opportunity there. The crossfield ball has gone straight out of play. Throwing taken very quickly by Chris Varon. This is Ben Julian. Anchors one in towards that penalty area. There's a great ball as well. Loughton was on the end of it. It's a good block and the second drive. Oh, it's off the post and back again. Well, that's the second time in this game that the woodwork has come to the rescue. And there's the claim that it hit the stanchion inside the goal. And certainly, it looks to be the case, doesn't it? That's definitely over the line. That ball is hidden behind the post. They got away with one there, London Wednesday, for sure. Poor old right Kersey up. Had every right to complain. Hanging on in there. Lady Luck might just be wearing a yellow and black striped shirt today. Chris Farrett. Pepper in the London Wednesday goal, looking for that second. It's hoisted away. Back with your bow up. But it might be a breakaway opportunity. It's three against, well, four against one in a way. They're trying to get back. This is Cassidy. Here comes the cross. Thump towards goal. We didn't get a really clean connection, Tom Mullard. And it's wide for a goal kick. It's a flick on. Shot it towards goal. Did it take a deflection? It did. It's going to be a corner. Desperately seeking that equaliser. It's Mullard. A chance for Highgate Albion to bring it away. Another long ball over the top. Chevan right Kezia. Away though by Dover. Up towards the edge of the penalty area. It's a good interception, however. Driving through the middle. This is a good run from Agre Adams. Such a great finish. On the Wednesday. Still in with a shout here. Ben Julian. Right, Kezia onto the right foot. The shot is charged down and charged down well by Bertie Greenwood. Long kick forward from Declan Scully. It's held up well. Sam Cassidy. He's given the ball away. 
There's a charge through on goal, just like in the first half. But this time, Dion Loughton blazes it over the top. Could have killed the cup tie once and for all there. Flipped up in the air by Tony Burke, but he couldn't keep possession for his team. Cassidy, though, has recycled the ball for his teammates. The ball played forward by Colston. Edge of the penalty area. It's a scoop forward and a fire towards goal. That's a brilliant save. He couldn't have done any better, Tom Mullard, and he hit it perfectly on the volley. It's a brilliant save from Jamie Roberts. Corner comes in. Roberts again claws it away. Then cleared by Sparks, but he can't really get it properly cleared. Corrido. Very deep. Back into the box again, headed away. Hanging on. Tony Burke's trying to drive away through. And that's a free kick given right on the edge of the box. A foul by Ben Julian. Who fancies this? It's driven into the wall. And Highgate Albion are able to clear. Good spell at the moment from London Wednesday as they seek that equaliser. They've got to be careful whilst they commit men forward. They could get caught on the counter-attack. Ball through the middle. It's uh, Corredo. And then the shot from Tom Mullard. Couldn't get any real power on it. It was an easy save for Jamie Roberts. Shout of man on for Ben Julian. Make sure that Highgate Albion maintain possession of the ball. Chris Farrick. To his unfancied right foot. That's not a bad effort. Saved by Declan Scully. Was linked by... Danny Burke, and now he's got to scurry back and try and retrieve the ball. Alex O'Mahony has back up from Burt Greenwood, but it's not properly cleared. The shot was a tame one in the end from Dion Loughton, straight at the goalkeeper. Andrew Folan bringing it forward, sizing up the options ahead of it, drives it straight down the middle. Immediately return back downfield. Tony Burke against Varin, who's not giving him an easy passage forward. Loughton. It's Agri Adams. Ben Julian on his left-hand side. Teasing his way forward towards the edge of the penalty area. Onto the right foot. Can he get the shot away? Eventually he does. It's parried away by goalkeeper Declan Scurry. And then the follow-up straight at Scully again. He makes the save. Immediately, Wednesday turned defence into attack. It was fed forward towards Chaz Bayford. He couldn't make it stick. Ben Julian. Weaves past one. He's tripped. No foul, says the referee. Curled over towards this near side and Tom Mullard. Gets away from one. Now he's up against Jamie King. Crosses deep, but not dangerous. It's Ben Julian. Sam Agri Adams. Trying a trick or two is Javan Wright Kezia. Reverse pass. It's all very neat and intricate. Goalkeeper Declan Scurry decides to kick it rather than scoop it up with his hands. Closing down by Tony Burke, trying to win that ball back for London Wednesday. We're still in this cup tight. In comes the cross. It's a defender that got on the end of it. It was Andrew Folan's cross. Yeboah back to his goalkeeper. Mullard. Wants it back again. 
Tom Mullot. Comes back inside. It's still Mullot. Goes for goal. Curls it over the top. Lord's header. Chasing it away. There's Chris Farron. Agri Adams over to the right hand side. Pop down into the path of Amir Suleiman. Needs a cross. That was a good uh, bit of defending initially to deny the cross from Danny Burke and then headed away by Burke Greenwood. They need to get it clear and they do. Sam Cassidy rolls it intelligently down the line and there's a chance now for Tony Burke to get on his bike and set something up in terms of an attack for the visitors who trail by a goal to nil. Andrew Folan into the penalty area. It's teed up, it's jabbed towards goal and it's 1-1. An equaliser coming in for Mullard. Just over 10 minutes to go. And it had to be, didn't it, that they were going to concede Highgate Albion having twice seen the ball hit the woodwork once it actually hit the stanchion at the back of the net it should have counted as a goal well that one went flying right into the corner no need for a touch for the woodwork it's 1-1 extra time looming headed away by Jamie Kick. both teams are content attacking they want to win it it's exciting to watch. This is a good chance. But not a particularly good finish. When push came to shove for Alan Callahan. Jamie King. Another high ball forward. Over towards that far side. It's teed up. Good defending again by Burke Greenwood. And a shot dipping from 25 yards out. From Joshua Stubley. Burke will chase. Safety first from Jamie King. Throwing by Burke. And then the cross by Burke. It's deep. And it might fall here. What a save that is. What a chance for Sam Cassidy. Five yards out and the goalkeeper makes a brilliant save. Full credit to Jamie Roberts. He's kept his side in it. Roberts again. Needed to be aware that was hanging underneath the crossbar. He had to do something. It's a corner. It's another deep cross and off the head. And wide. Okay, Albion's turn to ask questions in the opposition half, but that's good defending. That's a free kick. After challenge coming in from Jay Colston. Long throw. Tony Burke, but there goes the final whistle. What a thoroughly entertaining 90 minutes of football. And Highgate will look back on what could have been and what should have been, but it's extra time. It's London Wednesday to get this first period of extra time underway. Quickly, Yaboa is on the back foot. And he's got back up as well from John Sexton, who clears. Great. It's one a free kick. A little bit of tugging. Chipped into the box. Headed away. It's good defending from Highgate. They're able to get the ball clear as far as Ben Julian. Oh, that's a great ball over the top. There's no flag. And it's a miss. And it's a big miss. Alan Callahan had a real sight of goal there. There was no flag. And the goalkeeper made a comfortable save. Declan Scully, the manager, is filling in in goal today. They've certainly got their injuries at the moment, London Wednesday. The squad has been plagued by injuries in recent weeks. Safety first from John Sexton after the through ball from Sam Cassidy. Banged forward 
by Burt Greenwood. Mullard has done well. Can he get the cross in? Chips it in. It's very dangerous. Couldn't quite get ahead on the end of it. It's cleared away by Yaboa. No Mahoney deals with it. But it's the home side that win it back again. Forward by Ben Julian. Tommy and Poco. He goes wide. Alan Callahan to the edge of the box. Back heel. And then uh, the shot from Ben Julian was uh, wide. And it's continued to turn out to be a ding dong battle between two sides eager for the winning goal. And that wasn't far away. Certainly had Jamie Roberts scampering across his goal. In comes the corner. He got a touch, Roberts. His defence helping him out this time, though. Alan Callahan. Neat turn from Scott Carter. Carter goes wide. And towards goal with the shot, which fizzes past the post. Oh, he's around the goalkeeper. He's committed himself. He's been dabbed back into the box. Defender got there ahead of Sam Cassidy after Jeffrey Corrido's cross. He'd rounded the goalkeeper, Corrido. That will run. It's cause all the way through to Declan Scully. It's a weaving run. Ben Julian eventually stops in his tracks. Burke. Trying to get the flick on was Chaz Bayford. That's a push in the back on Sam Cassidy. He wins his side a free kick. This is dangerous. Tony Burke is sizing up a strike on goal. Chipped into the box. Oh, that's inches, inches wide from Chaz Bayford. That's a big, big moment. Second period of extra time. 15 more minutes to decide a winner. Or it will be decided by penalty kicks. Who's going through to the final? London Wednesday are all but mathematically crowned champions in the league. Their nearest rivals are Highgate Albion seconds. And they're seven points ahead of them. Pills for the throw. Which way has it gone? It's gone away of Highgate Albion. I agree, Adams. Get a full connection, Alex O'Mahony, to clear. That will just run away, and he's not quite able to keep it in play. Or well, he has kept it in play, in fact. As uh, Sparks thought that had gone, but he'd done well to keep it in. Cross into the box. That's good defending initially from Burke Greenwood. Cross is headed away, but only partially cleared. Trying to twist and turn and find room for a shot was Mullard. I get Albion could break away. Yaboa outside of the boot. It's a good ball forward. This is a chance for Wright Kezia. Can he find room for the shot? Well, he doesn't in the end. It's a good block. And it will be a throw in on the far side unless he can keep it in play, which he does. Loud. Teasing his way into the box. Gets the cross in. That's a good header away by Bert Greenwood. Gray Adams. It was a tall order to try and get through three defenders in one foul swoop. And it's given away by Amir Suleiman. 
Free kick. That's a great run. It's Loughton. Oh, he's been brought down. This is a big call from the referee, and he's not given the penalty. But at first glance, it looked a big shout, didn't it? And Loughton went down to ground under the challenge. And the referee chose to ignore it. No penalty. And we're heading for penalties. Loughton. It's a great ball. Look at a conjure up here. Callahan. Oh, over the bar. That really should have been in the back of the net. Amir Suleiman knows it. Close range. He's put it over. Oh, that was a gamble that very nearly cost Highgate Albion Deer a back heel from the captain Yaboa. And it trickles inches wide, deflected inadvertently towards goal. to look back at the 120 minutes that we played and you have to wonder how there was only two goals it's been a thoroughly entertaining match between two very even sides first up is Dean Loughton for Highgate Albion scored the opening goal in the match itself Declan Scurry on his line Loughton Puts it straight down the middle with the goalkeeper committed. It's 1-0. Tony Burke is next up. Puts the ball on the spot the second time of asking. Jamie Roberts is the goalkeeper. And he guessed right, Roberts, but it was right into the corner from Tony Burke. Anthony Sparks. That's a good penalty. Goalkeeper went the wrong way. If he'd have gone the right way, he probably wouldn't have got that. That was right in the corner. But Greenwood is next up for London Wednesday. Had a solid game at the back. And it's saved. Good stop from Jamie Roberts. Ben Julian is next up, and this is an opportunity for Highgate Albion to get a real advantage, and they do so. It's another good penalty. Ben Julian, the scorer. It's 3-1 now, and the next penalty has to go in, really. It's Danny Burke. Oh, it's hit the bar and come back down again. And it looks as if the game is finally up for Wednesday. The goal has been given. It's crossed the line, according to the assistant referee. He wipes the sweat off his brow. He got away with one there, Danny Burke. Sam Agri-Adams. The goalkeeper very nearly got it, but he had enough power. 4-2. He has to score here. Jay Colston. And he does. Rams it into the roof of the net. 4-3. Final penalty for each team. Alan Callahan is first up for Highgate. Saved by the goalkeeper, Tom Wilson. Had to stop that, and he did. That would have been a winning goal if it had gone in. It's a lifeline for London Wednesday. It's Jeffrey Corrido. It's saved by the goalkeeper. And it's victory for Highgate Albion, who go through to the final on penalties. 4-3 after a 1-1 draw.
Jamie, great game, great performance. How do you feel it went? I'm very happy with that performance. The, the team we played against, there are a couple of leagues above us. They're about to finish uh, their league probably as champions with a game next week against Enfield. Uh, we came into the game as slight underdogs, or probably massive underdogs to be fair. We're only the third team of Highgate. It's our first season, we've grown well, and um, I'm very happy uh, with the performance. I felt that we edged it as well. We had a good good amount of opportunities, couldn't finish, and to go and win on pens is, is quite special. It was 1-1 one, one after extra time. Do you think that scoreline tells the story of the game? T to be honest, first half, they had some good opportunities. Uh, Jamie, our keeper, made some great saves, but then second half, I thought we, we came into the game very well and we had a good number of opportunities. Just couldn't, couldn't find the net. Um, and then, we, obviously, at the end, it, we've won on pens. A lot of chances missed. Are, are you less worried because the chances are being created that they're not going to the back of the net? I'm not worried at all. I think we've got four of the best strikers in our league. As I said, the team we played today are are a couple of leagues above us and they're a very good side so to beat them on pens is special for us. All right, before I let you go, any honourable mentions for... <laughs> <laughs> and we've got some good good banter in the squad as you can see. Um, Hold up, let's get the hair dryer. <laughs>